Hi everybody, it's been a month. Back with the Earth Tub to show you the progress. Uh, we've been turning the Earth Tub once every three days, and uh, so far it's been going really well. We've been maintaining temperatures generally between 120 and 150 degrees over the last month. Uh, it is now December, and uh, it's pretty cold out today. We're a little bit above freezing at the moment, I believe. Uh, but the earth tub keeps cooking even lower temperatures and it's been giving us a good steady temp and that that 120 to 150 range is really optimal for allowing the compost to break down efficiently not getting too cold and not getting too hot and allowing it to, to progress quickly um, and we do expect this compost to be ready in about two to two and a half months so we've only got about a month and a half tops for this to finish up. We're going to turn this earth tub. So the first thing we have to do is flip on the motor. So I'll head over here and do that. Sweet. So now our auger is running. We just flip down our hand, the candles here. Um, and we're going to go one direction, and then we'll come back the other direction so our cords up top don't get tangled up. So the great thing about this auger is you can move the auger in and out to the center of the bin or the exterior of the bin. So right now it's pretty far towards the center and we're going to move the auger back towards the exterior of the bin using this handle here. So the importance of mixing in addition to aeration is really bringing the different kinds of material into contact with each other, making sure that you have a well mixed mixture so that your high nitrogen components are in contact with your high carbon components so the composting process can proceed. Um, and by regularly mixing it, you're just making sure that those materials are coming into contact with each other and that the composting process can continue without stagnating um, by having localized resources being used up and then the composting process itself will slow down as those materials that still need to get cooked are actually farther away from each other physically. So the mixing process just makes sure that you don't locally deplete any resources. And additionally, it's good for aeration, but luckily there is a regular aeration of this bin already. Um, so on top of that, it just makes sure that you get good oxygenation. Um, and it uh, looks like it's proceeding really well. Um, the material is already getting a good color, and we're only a month in. All right, here we have our compost thermometer. Uh, it's nice and long to get into the center of a pile. Here with the earth tub, we typically take our temp just uh, where we can reach, which is down in here for us. And... It's a simple thermometer. It's uh, not accurate to a particular degree necessarily, but it'll give us a ballpark idea of what temperature the compost is at. And that'll allow us to figure out what stage the compost is at in its uh, biological phases as it matures. Um, right now, our temperature is looking to be a little bit above 140, approaching 150 which is a great temp for the middle of December. Um, we're actually looking at about 150 on the dot, maybe a little bit more. So um, that temperature is really gonna get the compost to break down quickly. And as you can see, looking in the bin, we do have a lot of fungal colonization. All the white that kind of looks like snow is actually fungus, and that's breaking down the compost and that actually will help break down all the carbon material really quickly and allow us to make compost in a lot less time. All right, so today we're going to take a look at the drainage system for the earth tub. 
Uh, we've cobbled our drainage system together out of parts that we just had on hand. Uh, what we have here is a blower inlet here that pumps air in, and then we have a drain here coming off of that to drain that line in case any liquid gets in there. And then we have our main drain line here, which is the larger tube, and they both collect down into a hole where we put uh, just an old milk jug that we cut a couple holes out of to slit the tubes into. And we just keep it covered up with a board. It's a very basic sim system, but it's effective. Um, we come in and we empty this out daily. Um, when the earth tub is first filled up, we tend to get about a half gallon to a gallon of compost leachate out of the bin. And compost leachate is essentially just the juice from the food waste. So that just involves like a lot of carbon and nitrogen, super nutrient rich and a ton of water. Uh, it kind of, when you first look at it, it, looks like a compost tea. It's not compost tea, it's just kind of like nutrient-rich juice. And we can take this juice and we can put it into our other piles to supercharge it as a source of nutrients. And here we'll just take the tubes out. And the tubes get a little stiff in the winter, but in the summer they're pretty easy to take apart. And we just have a jug with about a quarter of a gallon of compost leachate in the bottom. We can just take this and add this to our other piles and use it as an additional resource. And we just empty this daily and uh, compost uh, the earth tub keeps on uh, turning.